Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded, it's your boy, Illiterate Fuck, and let's get right into it. First off, we got Ice Poison in the news, who brought out a game this week known as CX Stocks. Now what CX Stocks is, is it's a stock trading game, works like any other stock trading app or game, and what this game was actually doing in the background of your computer was mining Bitcoin, which if you don't know, mining Bitcoin on any computer can heavily reduce the lifespan of it because it keeps your CPU and GPU at 100% load pretty much the entire time it's mining. And then what was happening was these uh, Bitcoin were just simply being sent to Ice Poseidon and Andreas, which Andreas is the developer behind CX Stocks. As well as this, Andreas is the same person who helped Phantom Lord with his scamming his own community. As well as that, this week Ice Poseidon has been banned again. Didn't really last long though, he got unbanned almost instantly. There's also a ton of other bands, so let's go over those. First up, we've got Alec Ludford, who got banned for dancing on stream while not wearing a shirt. The better half got permanently banned for sexual content, but there's really no secret as to why there. Andy Milanokis got a 24-hour ban. Not really too sure as to why, though. Uh, there are two possible reasons. The first one is because someone threw up on his stream, and the other one is because of the way he speaks to women, but uh, he's been doing that for a while, so... And the final one, I'll just let you watch the clip. I'm not sponsored, I can say the fucking n-word if I want to. Fucking, fuck calling it the fucking n-word. It's fucking nigger. Okay, hard R, nigger. Two syllables. I'm not drunk enough right now. It's okay, I know at least three black people IRL, I can say it. Are you sure about that? This next one is a huge story, and this comes from a huge donator on Twitch who goes by the name AC Royale. As of right now, he has donated over $75,000 that we can find to Twitch streamers. The reason this is such a big deal is because he started a GoFundMe for medical support, but it was found that the reason he actually made the GoFundMe was to pay his £10,000 debt. So uh, the conclusion is he scanned the community for 11 grand when in reality he should have just not been an idiot at the start and donated such stupid amounts to Twitch streamers. Next up we got a nice bit of news. The Twitch streamer Baked Alaska met a homeless boy on the streets and helped him pay for his ticket back home to his family and parents. What's going on? Trying to be yourself? I like that. Trying to get home, really. Trying to get home? Louisiana, Oh wait, you, you gotta get all the way back to Louisiana. Hey, I just want you to know, um, I'm uh, helping your son out and getting him a ticket back to New Orleans. I think that's the right thing that he needs to do, right? So that is the story of Zero. We uh, crowdfunded together, not not just me. Together, we crowdfunded and and got him a bus ticket, some new clothes, some food, bunch of food, bunch of food, and a uh, ride back home. Next up, we got Dan Kwan, who just got left by his Uber. I'm about to pull up, Gmails. You got your right here, you have your locations on on Thank Twitch. You. I'm pulling up right now. Have a good night. Oh, shit. Is this your wallet? Where? It fell out the when you stepped up. Uh, here, I'll help you. you don't think, I literally just saw something black. So I don't know, sure. You don't think so? Oh no, never mind. Oh no! Wait! 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 Oh, what kind of bullshit? Wait. Next up, we have the Twitch streamer Jen Ben ninety two. Now she's sort of been exposed in a certain nature because she doesn't only stream on Twitch; she is a cam girl as well. So on Twitch, she goes by the name Jen Ben ninety two. And on her cam girl website, she goes by the name Blondie323. 
and there will be all relevant links in the description. This one's a really weird story. So the Twitch streamer Pink Sparkles, as of recording this video right now, she is doing a sleeping stream. And so I did a little bit of research and I found out that a Twitch streamer who goes by the name Orthodox Nation, who wasn't sleeping on stream, fell asleep by accident doing a 72 hour stream, received a ban for falling asleep. While Pink Sparkles right here is doing a 24 hour sleeping stream with, as of right now, 2000 viewers. And that is all for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I want to just let you know that I'm now allowed to let you know. Uh, that we're actually working on a website uh, of which will allow us to, instead of using Adfly after 12 hours, will allow us just to send you straight to a website where you can watch all of the stuff about the news that's happened in the week and you can submit clips there and do all the rest of the stuff. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.